I swear, we always get so hyped about these Luis Campisano absolute bombs in spring training. You know, maybe he hits one in the season, but he was one of the Padres' top prospects. And with Austin Nola going down, you know, Juan Soto with the oblique thing, the Padres are getting injured, and it's going to be a long 162-game season. It is going to be crucial that Luis Campisano breaks out this year. You know, career 46 OPS plus, 510 OPS. It's not going to cut it. It's only been 28 games. But I think that 2023 is the year for Luis Campusano to finally be Luis Campusano that we thought we would get the top prospect so let's talk about it okay so now i know i said we get excited about these bombs and i do too you know he's hitting these 450 460 foot home runs in spring training but he's got to put it together he's never had consistent playing time and i think that this season is a time when he might actually play a little bit more than just you know here and there and then get sent down to you know the minor leagues he is 24 years old this season top prospect like i mentioned he homered in his first career game and he was a guy i thought for sure was going to be traded in the juan soto trade you know in 2020 there was always rumors about him getting traded even in 2021 and obviously 2022 i expected him to get traded but i am not too sure about Luis Campusano. you know we've seen flashes of greatness he's always raking in the minor leagues but then when he comes up to the bigs and it's a very small sample size he's only had like 85 at bats 92 plate appearances nothing for real he's still a rookie under contract even though this is going to be i think his fourth year but this is going to be his rookie campaign if he actually plays it out fully he's not had the minimum plate appearances but Campusano, there's a couple problems with him and why he hasn't been good in the past. For one, his plate vision. He is swinging at balls way outside the zone. I remember last year against the Rockies, he swung at a slider. It was literally started way outside and ended up like almost out of the lefty battery box. And he's a right-handed hitter. So it was just like unbelievably outside. And I could not believe he swung at it. Another thing I do not like about Campusano, which I hope he's getting better at, is he cannot call baseball games. He is a catcher, and he is just terrible. You know, he's calling bad pitches. You know, he's not great defensively. I just want him to be better. But Austin Nola did have that injury. I think he will be back soon. I think he'll be the opening day starter. But Campusano has to step up for the Padres. You cannot have Nola playing the whole year. And Nola has absolutely no power. And yeah, catchers, we don't really expect much of them. You know, not everybody's an Adley Rutschman. Not everybody's a JT Real Muto. But it would be really nice to have a Padres top prospect really go off and make some big, big damage for us. You know, we always talk about a guy who was kind of under the radar that steps up for a team. I want that to be Luis Campusano. That would be so huge for the Padres. He's got incredible power at his build. He's hitting balls way gone. Yes, it was spring training, the ones that we're referring, but in, even in the bigs, you know, I think he's got two career home runs. I know he homered against the Diamondbacks. You know, his home runs are very impressive, well-struck balls. He's got the skill, but he's got to put together with average. He's got to get on base. He's got to walk more. And on the defensive side of things, he's got to be better. He cannot be calling terrible games back there. In my opinion, as a catching position, I think defense does come first. Hitting is a huge, huge, huge plus. That's why Adley Rutschman is so good. He's an incredible defender. He's great at calling games. You know, he really just knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's a great hitter. Switch hitting catcher bat. You know, I think he's the best catcher in baseball. I think he's going to pass JT this year. It was just a kind of smaller sample size last year, but I'm huge on Adley Rutschman. And I'm not expecting Campusano to be like Rutschman. Trust me, I am not. But I think Campusano could at least hit 20 home runs this year and have a big year. That'd be huge for the Padres just to have another bat to lean on. Because like I've been saying, you know, the Padres bench depth is not great. Jerks and Pofar just got signed to the Rockies. Now he's not on the winning team and he only got $250,000 more than he would have gotten on the Padres. But that's a story for another day. But the bottom line is, if the Padres want to continue to stay consistent, if the Padres want to play good baseball, we're going to need some guy who comes under the radar to lean on. And if that's Campusano, that's going to be huge for us. Hopefully he gets better at play calling. That would be so much better for us from a defensive standpoint. But first things first, his offense is going to be huge because if he can put it together and play like he does in spring training and just really just hit bombs, hopefully get on base, hit for solid average, you know, I don't need him to hit 300, you know, if he's hitting like 240 and he has like 15 home runs, you know, that's a W. You know, Campusano is probably not as good as we thought he would be, but as long as he can stay somewhat consistent in the plate, he can be playing huge dividends for the Padres and slide into that catching spot on a Nola off day. And I don't know, maybe past Nola. You know, Nola's got no power. He came up from the Mariners. He was supposed to be the dog at the catching position. It just didn't really do it for us. You know, yeah, he hits for okay average as a catcher, but, you know, he had like three home runs last year. And I just think home runs are really important in positions where you're not really meant to hit for great average. You know, first base, obviously there's now in this game, there's first baseman's hitting 
shooting for average. But, you know, a Pete Alonzo guy hitting 270 with 40 bombs, i take that any day of the week over Hosmer hitting 273 with, like, 11 home runs. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Campusano's good? Do you think he's going to break out? Or do you think he's just going to be bad like usual? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you have to do so. Give the video a like and turn on that post notification bell. If you guys like Padres baseball and baseball in general, this is the place to be. But for now, that's it for me. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yo, that's it, what they do. They ain't what mates do. Got a lot of girls that love to replace you. Tell it to your